Before we dive into this list of upcoming city building video games, let's go over a few general rules to make sure we're all on the same page. Rule number one, the games can have a demo available for you to try, but they can't be in early access. Rule number two, for a game to be on this list, there has to be some kind of publicly available activity related to its development during the first half of 2023. Now that we have the rules out of the way, let's jump right into this list of awesome upcoming city building video games with Pioneers of Pagonia is surely the title with the oldest pedigree on this list, coming from none other than the creator of the original Settlers, Settlers 3 and Spell Forces. The realm of Pagonia is a world of islands filled with mysteries and magic. Your job revolves around building settlements on these islands and gaining the trust of the various inhabitants. There's gonna be combat, but not in a direct control RTS sense. Instead, all of your soldiers and wizards will be guided by automated systems which you will set up and then watch them put into effect. Alongside procedurally generated maps, the game promises to feature over 40 different buildings and more than 70 different goods to start with when it goes into early access sometime towards the end of 2023. Arklands is a city builder crossed with an action RPG where you're a banished wizard starting a settlement from scratch. You'll gain levels, find magic artifacts as well as threats. So you'll also have to recruit fighters as well as citizens to protect and live in your settlement. The game also features roguelike elements because even in the face of failure you can salvage loyal followers, valuable resources and embark on a fresh attempt. Considering the roguelike city builder recipe has been shown to work well with Against the Storm, I'm very open minded about this title even if combat is not typically my cup of tea in city builders. Our clans is scheduled for release on January 19th, 2024. Manor Lord promises to offer a unique blend of city building, grand strategy and real time tactical battles. Set in a highly detailed medieval world, players assume the role of a noble lord with the responsibility of managing their own manor and expanding their influence. You will experience the various challenges of governing lands and making strategic decisions to balance your economy, agriculture and military strength. But the true heart of Manor Lords lies in its real-time battles. Players can command their armies on the battlefield, employing tactics, formations and utilizing the terrain to gain the upper hand in intense clashes. As far as I'm concerned, Manor Lords promises to be a modern day knights and merchants and is scheduled for release sometime in 2023, although I imagine a few years of early access would be the way to go. Frostpunk 2 was announced back in August of 2021, the sequel to 2018's frigid survival city builder. All we have for now is a really cool cinematic trailer where we find out that human civilization has indeed survived the cold snap from the previous game despite the earth still being wrapped in ice for over 30 years. Humanity has not only survived, but it is following somewhat in the path of our real world development and moving from coal powered steam focused technology to oil, with the player being in charge of a resource hungry metropolis populated with a multi-layer society divided into various factions. It's possible to see the game released sometime in 2023, but I don't think it's probable. What is most probable is to get a demo or maybe early access. Synergy is a strikingly looking project, a survival city builder set on an alien hostile planet where your goal is to have your human inhabitants thrive while learning more about the environment around them and taking that into account in order to live in harmony with its flora and fauna. The health and happiness of your people seem to be the major focus with sustainable development being a parallel concern. What truly sets the game apart though is its hand-drawn illustrated art style which seems to be heavily echoing the work of French illustrator and cartoonist Möbius. Synergy has a planned release date of 2023. Gord looks to only feature city building as one of its many aspects, but the overall package seems so interesting to me personally that I wanted to feature it on this list. This looks to be a much more hands-on sort of exploration and survival experience, the trailer being presented from a third person perspective mostly, featuring what looks to be several interactive narrative events as well as combat in a supremely dark and foreboding world. Your settlement will have to protect your population from the many threats outside its walls, but your major goal is to take care of your people's health, both physical and mental, in this realm of fantastical beasts, unknown magics and gods. The game reminds me a bit of Tainted Grail, but this one is set firmly within a Slavic inspired setting and has a planned release date of 2023. 
Homesick takes place in a post-apocalyptic near future where water has become the most precious resource and all the others are limited and scarce. The game seems to be very focused on the most optimal and efficient use of said resources, both in terms of gathering and processing them as well as when it comes to further research into improving their use. There will be events, quests and expeditions to engage with as well as the promise of competitive multiplayer if that's your jam. There's a demo available and the game is planned for release in quarter 3 of 2023. Spirit in Stone seems to be a fair bit away, but it promises to focus on a city building experience revolving around sparking your creativity through the use of block based building mechanics. You'll also have to ensure your villagers daily needs are met while at the same time being able to customize specialized rooms within your various buildings to increase your economy and expand your influence. And the world around your settlement is filled with all manner of other creatures and spirits with which you'll have to forge some form of relationships. Spirit and Stone doesn't have a planned release date yet. Mossfield Origins is described by its makers as a snack-sized approach to the genre, and it seems to be the sort of chillaxy city building experience I love to engage with in the vein of Terra Nil or Dorf Romantic. You'll build and sustain communities of inhabitants while exploring your surroundings, because each game seems to feature different environmental, technological and relationship characteristics, but the common thread is you attending to the needs of your residents and doing your best to repair some of the harm done by those who sent you on your mission to begin with. Mossfield Origins has a release date of 2023. Vertical Kingdom is a pixel art offering, blending limited space city building with roguelite card mechanics. As the name implies, you're made to exclusively build upwards using resources you'll gather through expeditions. Each game turn, you'll get a few cards that will dictate what buildings can be constructed, with the main goal of attracting as many people to your city. The game is said to have campaign, endless and sandbox modes and has a planned release date of 2024. Dynasty of the Sands has been silent for a long, long time, but in May of 2023, we got a fresh teaser for the game's early access release. I've been featuring this game on these upcoming lists since 2021 and I'm glad to have an update for it because the game does indeed look like a stunning ancient Egypt set city builder that will feature day, night, weather, wildlife and disease cycles alongside a special event system that will require you to find urban planning solutions to your citizens problems. There's gonna be some exploration as well as the presence of gods in one way or another. Early access is expected to start sometime in 2023. Nova Patria is a still very early in development and not mainly a city builder, although building cities will be one of its features. The game, at least in its current concept form, looks more like a colony and tycoon style simulation, with some components of it being real time, while some others will be turn based. The game taking place in an alternate history version of the world where the Roman Empire did not fall and instead continue to develop more or less alongside our real world's technological path a path which you will be able to influence. This alternate history aspect might prove to be one of the major attractions and selling points of the game if it's done well. The game doesn't have any sort of release date planned yet, but it's definitely something worth keeping an eye on. Celestial Empire looks to be set somewhere in the Far East and boasts carefully crafted maps with unique challenges that will have to be taken into consideration when building a settlement. The game also promises to feature a dynamic season system, which means winter survival will be a thing, as well as several other disaster mechanics. The game has a planned release date for 2023. El Dorado, the golden city builder, will have you build the most powerful empire in the Yucatan Peninsula putting you in charge of your settlement's layout planning and construction as well as your relationships with the neighboring settlements. The gods play an important role within the game and they have to be appeased through sacrifices and worship. Resource management and distribution will obviously play a large part in the game as well as how well you can balance the needs of your people at home and those of an army out in the field. The game is set to release sometime in 2023. Chinese Empire is the second Far East themed game on this list and despite it looking pretty good, there's nothing in its description that really sets it apart from most other titles here, with the exception of theme. But in that category, at least on paper, Celestial Empire seems to be the more interesting title. Either way, Chinese Empire is planned for release sometime in 2023. 
Viking City Builder is unlikely to make it to any sort of release in 2023, maybe not even in 24, seeing as how it is being made by just one person. However, I do want to spotlight it because the pre-alpha footage looks very good. The story being that a Viking raiding party decides to settle the land after raising a village to the ground. There are plans to add in a certain amount of real-time combat as well, so this is a very long haul project, but it is one worth wishlisting and keeping an eye on because the developer posts updates consistently. Humanica is set sometime around 10,000 BC and has you embark on the journey of human development from the Paleolithic to the Iron Age. Simple survival and resource gathering and processing will be at the very core of the game as well as a steady development of primitive technologies, including agriculture. There will be at least some amount of combat in the game, either defensive or offensive with your sort of end goal being iron tools. The game is planned for release sometime in 2023, but most likely that release will be into early access if it does indeed happen. Bulwark Falconeer Chronicles isn't necessarily a city building game, it being described by its solo dev more as an open world 3D builder meaning that it is not set on any sort of rigid grid, nor does it have restrictions to whether you can build vertically or horizontally. The game seems to have a real-time combat focus in parallel with the importance of building your settlement, but it looks pretty spectacular, it has a demo available and the developer is very open to community feedback. Infection Free Zone is a zombie survival city builder with the twist of allowing you to use real-world data when it comes to the city or town you'll be playing in. You need to build shelters and production facilities and can modify already existing buildings to meet these new needs. Exploration and knowledge of the chosen urban setting can prove to be a great boon since knowing where strategic choke points or possible resource caches exist can help out tremendously. Because at night, hordes of the infected come to attack your settlement, much in the vein of they are billions. New Cycle is yet another post-apocalyptic survival title, this time set in the aftermath of a devastating series of solar flares that have thrown what is left of humanity into a diesel punk version of technology. This new world is one in which seasonal changes are unpredictable and destructive events pose a constant challenge to your settlements. Your objective is, however, more than simple survival a la Frostpunk. Instead, advancing civilization is your key objective. The game is set for release in quarter 2 of 2023. Which one of these titles fits your fancy? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, I've been Steven Ansons, I have a Patreon, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video.